So one of the Greenworks Commercial's uh, main advantages is the multiple batteries we have. Um, this is an 82 volt system, right? But we go from a small 4.0 amp battery to 5.0 to 8.0, 10.0 to soon 20.0. Um, and what that allows you to do as a landscaper is just to customize your bag. You, got, you know, if you're st carrying your tool, a string trimmer, as an example, you don't want a too heavy battery. If you're going to use a backpack, yeah, well, you want to pack yeah. all the power you can. Right? So we give you the option to customize the use of your batteries. Now, battery is one thing, but I think one of the things I'm really proud of for Greenworks Commercial this year is not just the battery, but it's our charging solutions. Oh, right? So this, to me, um, and, and to a lot of people, is the missing piece when it comes to electrification. Right? A lot of crews, landscapers, are looking to electrify. They see the, the writing on the wall, a lot of pressures. And I'm going to tell you, I'm just, I'm going to cut you off. I just seen a video with a guy, he had Greenworks. Some of his batteries went dead in the moor, and he was trying to charge them all up, and it was tripping the uh, switch in the house on the breaker. But he said if they had a charging right. space, right. if you have a charging station you. part, it would be totally different. Well, there you go. Yeah, no, so, so that's one of the things, one of the more important things that Google's cars is bring to market next year is a whole slew of charging solutions. Why, why a slew? Well, because one size does not fit all. Right? Yeah. You have landscapers that are small, that are big, that are so we want to be able to versatile as So the, the system you're seeing here is our shop charger system. So imagine you have multiple crews, right? Yeah. Multiple crews, you come home after a long day's work with your batteries in these ca caddies. You can d disconnect them. And so this caddy, which fits six batteries, right? You bring this on your trailer. So this, this caddy here has wheels, has a little handle. You bring those with you. When you're done for the day, you place it back in the shop and simply connect it. Whoop, if I can't connect it. Sorry. Sorry. Prototype. You connect it like that, then overnight, these batteries will charge. Uh, it's a daisy chain of, of caddies, right? So through one, 110 outlet, you can charge up to 48 8 amp batteries in one go, which which is a huge benefit if you have multiple crews that need multiple batteries. Each crew can bring a caddy, two caddies with them on the trailer, do their job, do their job during the day, come back and charge them overnight and be ready to go in the morning. That's a, a great example of, of a charging solution that we're And what this what this battery box allows you to do is it has two six thousand watt outlets right here, which will charge a, a zero turn like this one here. This zero particular zero turn has an eight kilowatt hour battery on the inside, which means that in a little over an hour, this battery box can charge it from zero to full speed. So you can do that, you know, with two zero turn mowers on the go. The other two uh, outlets are 2,000 watt out, uh, uh, outlets, which will charge the same caddies you saw over there. Yeah. So you can charge up to 12, um, 12 batteries as well, as you're eating lunch, as oh, you're charging the zero turn too. Yeah. Got you, so guys are so worried about running out of juice. Running, running out of juice, <laughs> and your juice can be right there on the trailer. That's right. So while you're stuck in traffic, going to the next site, while you're having a break, while you're eating lunch, what have you, your equipment is always being charged. Well, it's almost, I mean, you guys were complaining about a solution for it, and it seems like they added it. Another charging solution, we call this our, our supercharger. So this is an eight kilowatt charger. Um, we call it the supercharger because it will power a 24 kilowatt hour system like most of our optimus zero turns in just three hours. 
So this is our, our superchargers. You connect that to the mower. You connect this to your uh, 220 amp, uh, 220 uh, volt outlet at home. And, and you can charge up in just three hours. So this is more of a stationary solution uh, as opposed to that, which is a mobile solution, but it allows you to charge up even faster. We see as a key solution for the smaller crews. If you're a one to two guy uh, crew that's out there mowing, you may, may need to charge up your batteries as you mow. All right, so this just allows you to strap the, the caddy, the same caddy you saw there before, to the mower and charge up the handheld batteries as you're using the mower. Kind of like if your cell phone is about to go dead, you still got it on the charger, you still use it at right? the same time. There you go. All right. And so this one, um, you will notice that all of our Optima Zero Turn mowers has an ETO port, which gives direct access to the built-in battery on the mower. So what you're essentially doing here is that you're stealing battery power juice from the built-in battery and charging up your handheld batteries so that all your equipment, again, is, is charged um, at any time. Uh, charging solution, we call this the multiple Z charging solution. If you have a 240 volt, 50 amp circuit, you can install three Optimus uh, zero turn chargers on one circuit and charge them up overnight. Um, so a total charge time of nine hours, but this provides a solution where you can just charge multiple units from the same circuit. Yeah, this pad is on. And this, uh, let me talk to the mower for a little bit. So this mower that you're, you're standing on now is, is our Optimus line of, of mowers. This is a, a, a 48 inch mower. We have 48, 52, and 60 inches, and soon 72. Um, what uh, the, the beauty of these mowers is that they're exceptionally powerful mowers. Um, they have the equivalent of a 65 horsepower engine inside. 24 kilowatt hour battery, which gives you a runtime of eight, up to eight hours, depending on your grass conditions, um, right? And as you saw here, you can you can set the blade tip speed, you can set the speed of mowing, you can do everything here from the included LCD screen. This particular mower uh, can can reach and maintain 19,000 feet per minute blade tip speed which is ludicrously fast. Well, that's the legal limit of any blade um, spinning. What that allows you to do is just do one cut. You never ever have to go back and cut it again. It can be wet, it can be high, you will zap right through it at, at that speed, which is a great benefit. Moving on, uh, just some new accessories for our line as well. We have a, a lift jack that we're implementing. So that's going to under these mowers. These mowers tend to weigh a bit because of the battery. So this allows uh, any landscaper to do uh, any kind of maintenance underneath. Sharpening the blades, replacing the blades, cleaning, cleaning the deck, whatever have you, you are able to reach. Now this, this is the, the king of the show. Um, so this is our brand new 72 inch battery powered so this uh, this actually carries a 36 kilowatt um, hour battery pack inside. It carries a 72 inch rear discharge deck with the same uh, great features of the Optimus lineup. So 19,000 feet per minute rate of speed. Um, it's rear discharge, so it won't uh, won't shoot anything out from the sides because oh, of the rear discharge. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> what uh, what this unit also has because of the sheer weight of the of the deck, you don't want to sit there and, and push that with your feet. So it actually has an electronic deck lift. So it lifts the the the, the, uh, the deck to the to the height in inches. That, that, yeah. Yeah. There you go.
is this piece right here? What is that piece? I'm glad you asked that question. Um, so this is another accessory that we're offering with our Optimus lineup. Same here, it uh, hooks up, powers up through the ETO port to other front of the mower. This is a high power uh, leaf blower uh, that you can carry on, on the front end of the mower. So you're, if you're into full leaf pillaring, big uh, big parking lots, uh, big fields, drive by and blow it. Yes, drive by and blow it. That's really right. All of, all of the uh, front attached uh, accessories are controlled from this this uh, control box that sits right on the bar. So the little, little joystick here. Uh, so this will connect through Bluetooth to uh, to the blower, and you can control the direction, speed, and everything from there. And this is actually going to be a universal box, so any and all attachments will be controlled by from the fingertips of your controls. The beauty of, of this new generation of mowers as well is that it also carries an ETO port in the back. So you have an ETO port in the back to power any, any rear attachments and uh, an ETO port in the front to power any front mounted attachments. Man, that is nice. Okay. Here's another uh, example of the, the application. So this one is uh, fitted up with a uh, back uh, um, Leaf catcher. Yes. A bagger. A bag. bagger. That's yeah, my bad. We both had. <laughs> we both knew it was me. <laughs> so th this particular unit has a three bin ba bagger system attached to it. Um, what the uh, the fan motor is powered by two separate uh, handheld batteries, like the ones you saw there before. You just put them in here and and control the the off on button right from the, your seat. allow you to do leaf clearing or any kind of vacuuming of, of uh, any lawns, right? You see a lot of different grass clippings, leaves, what, yeah. what have you. You can pick up. I see you guys got the tweels on. Yes, sir. Now, most brands will say that you can't use tweels with a, with a, a, a bag on the back because of the added weight. We have actually designed all of our... Um, so you mean, you mean our, these? Uh, yeah. So you can put it in the front of the port over here and then into the dummy bag. So then you can shut the cut cover right now. He doesn't want to use the end of the bag. Yeah, front end is coming out. Also, as an extra, sun shade. Here, another example of uh, accessories. So, for those in, in colder uh, areas where the snow is beginning to fall already, um, a snow blade. So, you can attach that to your Optimus to your, uh, and again, make yourself the of the ETO port uh, in front to control the blade, to raise it, lower it. Now see you get the, the trimmer rack on this. Got a trimmer rack on this one as well. Mountable to any of our Optimus units. Again, if you're a small crew, you might make it too easy with you. Here's, here's a perfect solution for you to do that. Now, if you're a landscaper, Weekend Warrior, uh, this unit is probably for you. This is a scaled down Optimus unit. It has a, a smaller battery pack, uh, battery pack on the inside. It's an 8 kilowatt hour battery pack. So it'll run for about two and a half hours. Uh, it can cover up to about seven, seven acres on, on, on one single charge. But it's not an all day tool. Okay. Right. Right. I'm glad you specified that it's not an all day tool. So yes. Let people know, guys. Residential, don't try to push this commercial too much. He, he, but he's making it clear. He's being honest with it. So that's yeah. what we want. We want honesty. Yeah, we want. We want. We want to still uh, commercialize this unit as a landscaping tool, and, and it is. It's built to last, but 
Not as as I said, year, right? not all day. Yeah. So if you're a part-time weekend warrior, you do some work, this is for yeah. you. Yeah. And why are we offering this? Because this is going to be available at 14999 dollars 999 mm -hmm. versus, you know, the 26999 dollars 99 over there. So, yeah. uh, that, that's the reason we're coming out. I want to thank the opportunity to also introduce, this is a consumer unit. So, uh, let's be clear about that. This is a consumer unit, not meant for the commercial use. If you want to do commercial, we definitely go to that direction. But what, what this unit does for those large uh, estate owners that, that want to make fully use of a battery pack, then, then this unit is for you. It offers 60 inch of, of cutting capacity, but this unit does not have a built-in battery. It uses the same batteries um, that you saw over there to power this entire mower. So it comes with four um, of the regular batteries and two of the suitcase batteries oh. to power this unit. So once you're done, you're done. Wow, well, I even like this right here. So if you're doing stuff around the yard, <laughs> exactly, tree limbs, little debris, you could just throw it in here, pull it to where you need it, and dump when you get there. That's right. Oh, Sorry, it's a prototype. <laughs> That's pretty that cool for, for it to be a homeowner, guys. Right, and that's exactly the thing. We want to make it as, as useful as possible. So it's not just cutting grass. This is a mini workhorse. It's a mini workhorse. It's a transportation. Yeah. You can transport stuff, right? Yeah, because I deal with a lot of yards and say I'm not, you know, I'm not residential. But if I was having one of these just on any, this would fit any more. Residential, whatever. So if you're out there by yourself, you're doing your own little uh, DYs out there. In your yard, you get done mowing, or say if you got to ride out to the yard, go cut some limbs off, dump it in there, haul it off. That save right. you plenty of time, save you plenty of money if you, I mean, if you're just a residential person. That's right. This is great. This is, I mean, it's a great option right here, I think. Yeah, so it's again, we're taking the game one step further, right? It's not just cutting grass, it, it becomes so much more when you, when you have this type of, you know. <laughs> So this, uh, this is our new backpack blower. Um, this is actually the first powerful battery backpack blower. We want to do this, let me turn it off for you. Uh, so this is a 36 uh, power code, uh, high performance, 36 meter home force. Uh, 755 CMD. Say new, what do you mean by that? So, from the guy that I did this. New thing is because the, the thing with it is it's a miles per hour, you can do those numbers based on the size of the material. It's air, liner, it's, it's, it's a measurement of, of air movement. You got it, it measures the power of this unit. So, it's, it's the most, it's the cleanest way of calling out power. Yeah. So, 30, 36 is. is for a battery powered backpack roller. So again, uh, it uses the same batteries that we saw um, before, same 82 volt batteries. Um, what this unit does, and it's a pretty cool feature, it um, actually offers um, l lights as well. Now why on earth would you want lights? Well, as, as days get shorter, it gets darker, um, we want to make sure that our operators are safe, right? So these, these machines are becoming less and less quiet <laughs> or yeah, coming more quiet I should say sorry less volume right so it's not as easy to pick up on them it's not as easy to see them so we want to make sure that you can see the operator wherever wherever they go um, fortunately we hear of a lot of accidents of people you know riding bikes with, yeah uh, and actually the air pods you, inside and, and just I got a sad story where I'm at right now uh, we had a guy he was out trimming Guy was early in the morning, had been drinking, he jumps the curb and hits the guy while he's out there. Just like you say, you, you might, what do you think you need that for? Well, I just gave you a story and I can actually pull up the article, guys, and show you that like, stuff like this actually does happen. So, so we, mean, we want to do our part. Features, yeah, safety features, you can never like complain about a safety feature and something's going to you know, keep you safe out there in the field. That's right. That's right. And coupled with that, you also have a front light. So again, as, as um, days turn to night, you want to be able to, to, to work a little bit later. 
you can do so. One other feature I didn't mention is here. So the first speed here, this is a, a three speed system as I'm showing there. But as you note there, the word low decibel. So low decibel is 65 decibels. That's what the low speed on this is. And, and that tends to be uh, the level of most municipalities and cities with, with the noise ordinances. They set it at 65 decibels, which means that this unit can operate in, in, in any city that has noise ordinances. So again, it allows anyone who's in those areas to continue working. Or start working earlier. Um, let's talk chainsaws. So this is actually one of the more exciting products we are coming out with next year. We call it the hog saw. Why hog? Because it's high output gasless saw. Now, what, what is it? There are plenty of battery chainsaws out of the market. Yes, agreed. But what's so special about this guy is that this is a 70cc gas equivalent battery power chainsaw. This is not a toy. This is a true loggers chainsaw. It is up to a I've run a battery chainsaw right now in the last 16. So, man, that's a huge difference. <laughs> this is a true loggers tool. Right, so you can go out to, to Western Canada or Western U.S. and do big, 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 big trees with this thing. And this is the first time um, anyone has ever come out with such a powerful battery power chainsaw. Look at it, guys. It this isn't soft either. This isn't like no soft plastic. I'll let you know now. That's magnesium. Right yeah, there. no soft plastic, guys. So. We've also incorporated uh, certain controls. So because of the battery powered system, this, this unit will, will speak to you through this uh, LCD. It'll tell you it's on. It'll tell you if it's running low on oil. So that, you know, you just fill up, fill up oil and things. So you have lots of sensors and, and warnings here in the, in the right, in, the, in, in your face essentially. So you can operate the unit Cause, better. Because the battery, uh, chainsaw the operator right now have to actually flip it over. Yep. Look at the front. I have to turn it where the chain faces me and look at it and see like the level of the oil. So. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. that's that's nice. It is. It is. You mentioned you have a 16 one. This yep. is our 16 inch. We have an 18 inch. We have a 20 inch. And these are great landscaping tools. If you're cleaning up, you know, smaller jobs, smaller trees, branches. We even have a top mount saw if you're climbing trees. Um, that looks like that. Um, so, so we have those those tools as well. But again, that saw is is a different 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 tool. breed. Yeah. And then we have a whole lineup of of uh, landscaping tools. We have the pole saws. We have hedge trimmers. Uh, short pole, medium pole, articulating. Um, we, we have a whole lineup of of, of uh, hedge trimmers for any any task. Over on this side, we're launching, you can see these signs, new for next year, are a, a bunch of new string trimmers as well. This particular one is gonna be the lightest string trimmer uh, in the industry. It's our 1.0 kilowatt string trimmer, which packs 25 cc gas equivalent of power, but in a battery format. So no, no vibration, very low noise, and when you're run out of power if you do then you can just pop in a new 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 battery and keep on going so it's light but it still gives the power that you want that's right that's right and no no worries about carburetors and, and you know pulling them to start they start immediately on a, on a one push button furthermore um, we're expanding our um, concrete power cutting um, portfolio as well. So we've had the 12 inch for a lo long time. We're coming out now with a 14 inch which just makes, allows the user to make deeper cuts. Bigger jobs uh, using the same same battery as you have for your trimmer as an example, right? So it just allows any landscaper that's into this type of application to do more with the same battery. What do you got right here? This, um, is an inflator okay so this is a 24 okay, volt system so di different battery but um 
it, it can, you know, blow up a tire, blow up a football, blow up so anything like that. So it's a like different that. battery, so what, none of the other batteries will work with this one? Well, so we have a line of 24 volt batteries as well. So th these tools here, example, this is a pressure washer. Um, we have a fan. Uh, we have that inflator. We have a number of tools that go with our 24 volt system as well. But yes, that's a whole that's a whole different battery, so different battery system. Backpack sprayer also on the 82 volt system. So again, if you have our 82 volt system, this is a, a unit that can allow you to get into fertilizing or, or you I'm know. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna see how heavy this is. Go for Let's it. See. That's pretty light, four gallons. But with four gallons in it on your back. This is my this is my thinking, guys. I'd rather have four gallons of a battery sprayer, the spraying, and have four gallons of something with a on the side that I'm pumping, or having to sit back down. Yes. That's right. But yeah, just remember that there's no liquid in here and no battery in here right now, right? So we'll add a little bit of weight, of yeah. course, when you get into it. But you're absolutely right. No, no need to pump. pump you know, yeah. you know, you can just yeah, spray away. When you got something that you got to walk for a while and. You're spraying down a, a, a fence line or something, and you got to stop and keep pumping. You get down, dang, they're done. Stop and keep pumping again. You're out there in the heat, sweating. That makes a difference. I'd rather slap that on one time, cut the button on, spray, and be ready to go. That's right. So guys, here you go, Greenworks Commercial. And that, that completes our tour. And these guys, I mean, like I say, these guys are the originator of the battery. So if you don't have any battery, but you're considering going battery, this may be the option for you because you're gonna have to buy those batteries for their units. And if you want somebody with excellent review, like I say, Greenworks has been doing it for a while, guys. So check out Greenworks. You guys drop some comments, drop some likes, get some feedback, let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah.